Hey, what's up everybody? It's Coach Matt over here at Primal Athlete Training Center, www.primalatc.com. Well guys, today we are con continuing our javelin throwing series. We're on video number two. Now if you checked out yesterday's video, you saw that we talked about how to select the proper javelin for you. Now at this point of a video series, we go into how to hold the javelin, how to throw the javelin, all that other good stuff. Before we get to that, I want to talk about the most important point when it comes to throwing the javelin, which is uh, actually throwing through the point. You'll hear this a lot from coaches where they'll say that you didn't throw through the point, that you should apply force directly through the point. I want to explain and kind of illustrate for you a little bit what that actually means. Now, throwing through the point, that is the correct way to throw a javelin. And what that basically means is that the javelin, if it is pointed at one angle, whatever angle that might be, whatever angle the javelin is pointed at, that is the same angle that you are applying force. Now to show you this, I'm just going to use a very simple ballpoint pen. Now if you take this, if you imagine this as your javelin, and the javelin is pointing up at this angle, what that means is that when you throw, you're going to apply pressure at that same angle as you throw. So the javelin's pointing at one angle and you're going to apply pressure directly down that shaft, directly through the point at the correct angle, at the same angle that the javelin is pointing. Now, that is what we mean by throwing through the point. It's like throwing a dart. It's like throwing, uh, you know, if you had a giant piece of pipe, you wouldn't basically aim it in one direction and apply force in the other direction. It's not going to go anywhere. Think of also throwing a paper airplane. If you had a paper airplane, you wouldn't take that airplane, point it one way, and then put pressure the other way. It's not going to go anywhere. A lot of times the errors that we see when it comes to throwing the javelin, when an athlete does not throw through the point, looks like this. They'll do their approach, they'll do their run up, they'll go into uh, the crossovers and finally go to throw. The whole time they're doing it, the javelin is at one angle. Well, what we see sometimes is that the javelin thrower will what's called lose the tip, meaning that at the very end, the javelin thrower is going to go to apply pressure down the point, but they'll lose the tip. The tip will point straight up in the air, and even though the javelin's pointing straight up in the air, they're still going to apply force at the correct angle. So what you'll see when that happens is that the javelin's going to flutter in the air. It's going to bow in the middle, flutter in the air, and it's not going to go that far. The exact opposite we see a lot too, where the javelin's pointing in one angle, the javelin's pointing directly, you know, almost level to the ground, and what you see is the person goes to throw, they'll do like a jump shot. Instead of pushing through the point, they'll push up that javelin, almost like they're doing a jump shot with a basketball. And what you see a lot of times here is that the javelin itself, it's not going to go too far. The tail is going to come up and the tip itself is going to come down and the tail is going to go way past it. So that's two ways that we want to really illustrate the wrong way to throw a javelin. Again, the correct way to throw a javelin, we want to make sure that the javelin itself is pointing at one angle and that you're applying pressure directly through the point, directly down the shaft of the javelin, and applying pressure at the same angle that the javelin is pointing. All right, guys, that does it today for video two. What we're going to do tomorrow is we're going to illustrate proper ways, a couple of different ways to hold the javelin and how to hold it in the hand the right way. Um, and then next week we're going to start up with actually throwing the javelin, drills how you can actually release the javelin correctly, getting you guys throwing right through the point, getting you guys applying pressure the correct way. So guys, thanks for checking out PrimalATC.com. Make sure you let your teammates know. Make sure you let your coaches know that Primal is the place to come if you need great throwing advice, if you have any questions that need to be answered, or if you want to become a better thrower and a better coach. Thanks.